I don't know. I'm gonna. I'm gonna like talk about it ironically, and then I'm gonna watch it and be like. <laughs> That's so funny. I'm like losing my mind. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Rockham Sakura. I took a month long break. Did you guys miss me? I'm back. Look, I have. To show that I'm back, I have a mustache. I was like, I need a month away from YouTube so that I can rest and relax and not have to think about what's coming up next for the new video. And then after like the first two weeks, I was like, what am I doing with my life? I'm not doing anything. So I'm back and I'm excited to be back. We are gonna close off the year very strong. We have that at home, but a little bit differently. Typically when I do We Have That at Home, we do a drag artist. And today we're gonna be doing um, some, one of my favorite artists artist from Japan, uh, Minori. Uh, I think I've seen her in like um, like the Aki Akihabara fashion books, but her style of makeup is called Shiro Nudi. Basically what it is, is it's like a white face, like a white canvas, not like Gottmik. Well, kind of like Gottmik. Her style is very ornate. If you want to see more Minori, you can Google her here on YouTube, and she has a couple of other makeup tutorials and some other stuff, but she is a cool artist to go follow. But yeah, we're gonna be following her makeup, not makeup tutorial, she's doing makeup on someone else and we're gonna be following her advice today. I got something really special for you guys. If you like, comment, and subscribe to this channel, then I will be giving away two free tickets to K-pop the musical. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> what are the, the lyrics are, this is my Gloria. This is my Coria. This is my story, yeah. I'm not giving away free tickets to K-pop the musical. Um, but anyways, if you want more content just like this, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Of course, ring the bell for notifications if you want to be notified whenever we make a new video. Comment down below, are you gonna see K-pop the musical when it comes out? I just wanna know who is actually gonna go see this. Look, miss, like with two Qs. If you have a better name, leave it in the comments down below and we'll probably use it, because that's... Cash is giving me a cringy face. And of course, if you like this video, make sure to give us a like. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna glue down my eyebrows and get rid of this. There's not much of it, but I'm gonna get rid of whatever's there and I will see you in a second. So here's our tutorial from Minori, and uh, let's get started. She's so cute. Is she gonna do all the makeup with gloves on? Okay, now she's gonna apply the foundation. I have white foundation here. A disposable sponge cut in half? Japanese people, whenever I watch the makeup tutorials, at least in the ones that I've seen before, like 2016 era, they love using disposable sponges. Do it lightly and softly, okay. Make it even with tapping. Mm, don't get, okay, she <laughs> said don't get white makeup on your lips, I already got that. <laughs> she looks funny, the model looks funny because her lips are so red and the rest of her face is so white. <laughs> okay, she says that she also applies it to her neck and her ears. I'm gonna go where I wanna cut off for this look. I kind of have a vision for this look. I'm gonna mark it with a line right here. I look like I'm gonna do really well on All Stars. You know who really has good application for white makeup? If you really wanna know how to apply the most even, most beautiful white foundation ever, look up Ellis Atlantis, she's the winner of um, Glow Up Season 1. She has a tutorial on TikTok and she shows you how to get the most white, 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 white base you've ever seen. The first time we did um, We Have That at Home, I didn't think we were gonna be making it like a full, full series. And this is by far our most popular series on the channel. And if you guys watch this and you click every time there's a We Have That at Home, thank you so much. I like doing them and I like doing them so much, I get nervous sometimes making them because I'm like, now I gotta make it good. Now I gotta, I gotta top it with another one. I gotta make another look for this one. I think I'm just gonna wing it from now on and not worry so much. I'm l working on this tactic to not give myself anxiety. Ooh. 
Whenever I do this, I'm like, the whites of my eyes are a little bit yellow. I hope to God she powders. I don't know if she, I'm sure she powders, right? Her model fell asleep. Oh no, she's just le leaning her neck over. <laughs> I totally thought she fell asleep. Um, I get really, really nervous with white powder because one of the first times I bought it from Krylon, I was living in San Francisco and I finally had my very own room. I like could barely see I was putting lights in my eyes and I put the powder puff in the bottle and it slipped out of my hand and I had this big, almost like this big container of clown white powder and it fell to the ground and when it hit the ground it went <sighs> and I had powder all over my room. After you press once, dab the face by dabbing <laughs> By dabbing like this, you can make it more even. I did not just dab in 2022. <laughs> Trixie is getting ready with Jinx Monsoon. And then Jinx is just, she puts her foundation on and then she goes... Like a psychopath! Oh god. I have never tasted powder until this exact moment. Ugh. Ooh, it's still there, look at that. It's like on the mouth. Okay, so she said today her clothes are light blue. I'll put on eye makeup that goes with blue. So I think we're gonna go, I'll use yellow, the opposite color of light blue. So they're pink, so I think we're gonna use green because that should be the opposite, like a pastel green. She is using the makeup sponge that comes with the makeup. I'm gonna have to see if I can find a swab, but if not, we're just gonna do it with a brush. This is nuts. Every time I've seen a Kawaii Patine video, they use them too. Oh, oh golly. I guess I can't use the makeup sponge thing. Oh God. Oh, I'm so sorry, everyone. I can't do it exactly the way she does it. And she's kind of going like in a, almost like an oval motion around the eye. So we're gonna do that. I feel like for me, the takeaway for Shido Nudie is that it's supposed to look like very reminiscent of like watercolor. The way we're gonna do this and emulate it is we're gonna use our finger. Cause that's basically what that little thing feels like. And I actually think a finger is probably a better applicator. See, like, look at that. Like just a little bit of dark green, like really brought the face in, really added like a nice essence to my face. She looks like she puts a little bit of blue underneath and she almost makes like a little line there. So we're gonna do that. It's very pigmented. I mean, we're using sugar pill. Shout out to sugar pill. It's too dark. It's like too pigmented. Shout out to you, sugar pill. It was too pigmented. See, it's it's so hard to follow this tutorial because I don't have the sponge and like, she's using <laughs> bad makeup. So whenever she puts it on, it has like the least amount of application, which I think actually might be the point. Okay, this time there's no liner with the specific color I want to use. I mix water with eyeshadow to make the exact color. What is she doing? Water? Am I gonna ruin my palette? And for some reason here, she's using a brush? Like, girl, you had a brush. Like, why did you use the other thing? Okay, water, eyeshadow. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> it's gonna be patchy when it goes on, right? She's doing like a double eyelid sort of thing. So she's doing a cut crease without cutting a crease. Oh, okay. I tried it. I tried blending it a couple times and then the eyeshadow with the water kind of turned into a liner. I mean, if you can just get pink liner <laughs> because this is, this is tedious. I don't think she glued down her model's brows, but I need to glue down my brows. I am not putting shadow in between hairs like, in, like a monster. I'm not like a Dragula monster, but like a monster, a theoretical monster. And I'm going to diffuse this pink outward. Cause when I think of Midori's makeup, I think of like well blended out pastel colors and she's blending the bottom. Next I will do an art eye that looks like Ivy. So now she does one of her signature things, which is she's gonna make, she's gonna make Ivy along the whole face and she's gonna do it with a fine tip 
brown liner. I found a brown liner, luckily for her. I had one, which is so strange for me to have. So it looks like she's creating this bottom lash and this top lash with this very, very, very precise brown liner, which mine is not as precise. So we'll see how it works. <sighs> God, I only got two lines done and I'm already sweating. Small ass liner, girl. So I went ahead and did the left side of my face already. I didn't have any brown pen liners like Minori did. So to mitigate this, Duraline, it's almost like a it's almost like an oil sort of makeup, and I mixed it in with this Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pomade that I got from Drag Race three years ago, so it's really dry. The way that she does her lines is very ornate, kind of like a, a Swedish sort of fairy tale sort of vibe. I mean, a lot of the leaves are somewhat uniform, um, but the negative space around the leaves is is very uniform. We're gonna go ahead and show you how I paint the rest of my face, but we're gonna speed through it, okay? It could be kind of tedious. I'm gonna be holding my breath this entire time. So now she has false lash glue for what? Oh, she's adding like dried flower petals. Okay, I'm gonna prep some of these flowers and then I'll be right back. I'm just gonna take the back of my brush and take a little bit of this Prosade, and then I'm gonna place them around the edges of these ivies right here. And I have these flowers that were too big, so I cut them up. And I'm going to place them one by one. So that's, there's only two there right now. I'm gonna add a third one. I feel like three is gonna be the magic number. I love putting flowers on my face. I mean, if you guys have been following since the very beginning, we did a photo shoot, like at the very, very beginning after announcement, where I wore my Vegas outfit and I had flowers glued to my face. Initially, the flowers being glued to my face was really inspired by Minori. Just a little bit of eyeshadow in the middle to make it darker. Oh, okay, so she's saying remove the white on your eyes, and she's like pulling on the eyelash. False lashes consist of long lashes for theatrical use, like a drag queen lash, and short lashes for regular use, which are bound together. Okay, it looks like she has upper lashes and lower lashes. And it also looks like she's dusted the lashes with a bit of green on them. I'm gonna take some of this like aqua liner. I'm like putting it on my lashes right now, right here to kind of get a little bit of pink color on them. Well, <laughs> what? It's, does it, I don't like putting stuff on the lashes. I don't want to look like Dusty Ray. I'll put a little bit of black so that it ombres into the eye. I'm just gonna make an executive decision. All right, I'm gonna put these lashes on off camera because I'm gonna need every bit of strength to put these on. And maybe I'll pop some contacts in and then I'll be right back. God, bottom. Lashes! There's like glue all over here. I'm gonna fix it later. But we have our lashes. I put bottom lashes on and the contacts. I think we have like lips and I think she does the model's eyebrows. I'll make her eyebrows yellow. Oh, so for me it would be, was the contrasting color so she would want me to make them green? I am not gonna make my brows green. Not today. You know what I'm, I could do is I could make them pink. Eyeshadow might get on the white skin part and you just reapply it. Well, it didn't happen to me, mom. Okay, it looks like for her, she's mixing the grease paint, her grease paint with lip balm and eyeshadow. I have some grease paint right here. And then we're just gonna add some pink onto it. Looks to me like she's just using a lot of eyeshadow. And I guess we're gonna apply it. She said it might get on the teeth, which is just don't get it on your teeth. Fierce. <laughs> My God. She did a blue lip and then she put yellow over it and it's like completely diluted now. It looks like she puts eyeshadow over it and then reinforces it with more eyeshadow. 
So we're gonna do that and do kind of like what I normally do with my lids. We're gonna gradiate them. See, I like that because it, now it's like more of a white implied sort of lip and there's color in it. Because before, mama. Okay, she uses like a circle lens um, with like a light brown subtle color, but I don't have circle lenses, so I have these lenses right here. I just got them from TTDI and they are heart shaped. Although you can't see it. Maybe it'll show up in the pictures, maybe not. This one is upside down. This one right here is upside down right now. I'm gonna edit it before we take the picture, but um, this is the makeup. Now all we have left to do is to style it. So I will be right back after we style this whole entire thing and we get our shoot set up. So I'll be right back. And I'm done. Oh, okay. I mean, no worry, but I'm real pussy today. I'm sorry. Uh, it's been a while since we did a YouTube video. I'm just really excited. Um, this turned out really good, especially with the hair and the neck pieces. I didn't have to paint my neck white at all. It's all covered. It's painted under there. There's no reason why this should be here. But you have to be sure sometimes because you never know. People are gonna read you if any part of you is showing flesh. Like my legs right now. Like my legs right now, I don't have white tights. That We're gonna edit them in post. So we have this at home is, I always look so good at the end of these. I am so talented. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ethereal, I feel like a watercolor painting. I'm wearing an outfit from Favlinda on Instagram. They make these like big fairy poofy costumes. Um, I think they're fresh out of design school and they make amazing costumes. And the hair is done by me, which you can tell because the back looks like shit. But the front looks great. The front looks great. The back looks like shit. But the front looks amazing. Like she has her own steps to everything like using the Japanese sponge brushes and like the itty bitty tiny um like eyeliner and stuff like she has her own things like her, she has her own processes and they work for her if you're doing any of these and you don't have the proper products or anything you can always make it work you can always make it at home you know what I'm saying like you don't have to go out and get these specific Japanese brand eyeshadows to make any of these looks, right? Um, as long as you apply the basic concepts of the makeup tutorial to your face, you should be fine. <clears throat> if you like this video at any point, please make sure to give us a like. Um, also make sure to comment down below, do you like this look? Are you gonna try it yourself? And also, what was it? What was the other thing? Do you wanna go see K-pop the musical? Why is there an eyelash here? One, where did this come from? Am I missing one on my face? No. I don't know where that came from! Weird! If you guys want to see this full look, um, please go subscribe to my Instagram. Uh, we'll leave a, a link in the description down below. We're going to post the final look right over there with the full outfit and everything. So I hope you guys see me over there. And last but not least, um, if you'd like to support this channel um, and future vacations that I may have, <laughs> future times off, then please join our Patreon down there. You get lots and lots and lots of perks. Uh, once a month call with me and you get to join our personal Discord server. Um, and yeah, I can't wait to see you guys all in the next Look Miss video. That's what it was, if you have a better name for Look Miss. Oh my God, thank you so much to all of my patrons on Patreon. You guys, thank you so much for making this happen. I love you. Anyways, Talk to you later, bye. Hey, squirrel friends. When one video ends, just open up another one. It's called binge viewing. Go ahead. I support you. Oh, still going. Did they click another video yet?